Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Joellen. Hi, Sumner. Hi, Hi Kathy. Hi, Ron. Hi, Trouble. Hi, Walter. Hi. Hey, Walter. How are we doing, everyone? We're hey, good. Walter. Good. Oh, now we see you. Uh, yeah, I know the video never pop. I have to pop the video up all the time. Yeah. So, Mr. Ron. Yes, sir. <laughs> I swear you're going to get that <laughs> Frank Jernigan person. <laughs> yeah, I got a new Franco going. Um, it's beautiful. I love it. I look, see that color. Yeah. By the way, the color is called spinach. Huh. Um, and you know, I'm, I'm always amazed. This has got to be my fourth or fifth Franco. I, I am just amazed when I get down to about the fifth row after everything's going in the round, just it, how it just kind of, the shape just kind of moves <laughs> off the knee. I just love it. <laughs> it's, 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 uh, uh, it's, as, it's as much a mystery to me as it is to you. <laughs> I mean, it was just an experiment I did one day that 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 worked, and then after I put it out there as a, you know, as a pattern that people could knit, everybody else started saying it was working really well too. It's like, wow, what a what an interesting process. Yay me! Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. Yay me! Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna my second one because, of course, Ron was so nice to give me that skein of yarn. I, I got a sapphire blue that I'm going to take a card again from your V-neck sweater, Frank. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. V -neck and I'm going to stick it right up. Um, I This yarn will have to stick beautifully. I've... Oh, I, I just, yeah, I just was like, it, it's gorgeous. As soon as I touched it, I'm like, I'm going to take the card again. <laughs> <laughs> so last last week I showed a, a yarn to everyone that I was working on my sweater in. Hold on is, just uh, a minute, Ron. Sidra snuck in here. Let's say hi to Sidra. Hello. Hi, Sidra. <laughs> we we tricked you. We started a few minutes early, a couple of minutes early today. <laughs> That's okay. okay. All right. Oh, there's Judith. Oh. We have to apologize to everyone for starting early. Hi, Judith. Hi. <laughs> I started two minutes early today, so we tricked you. <laughs> no, I, I'm usually uh, early, early. Yes, you usually I are. I had another meeting. Oh. Um, it's what it's my first wool along, knit along, and oh, it's, huh. yes, it's my first one, and it's based on using Canadian wool. Oh. So the, the lady, uh, her first name is Catherine, who organized the Zoom meeting, uh, talked about different uh, kind of sheep we have uh, in Canada and with which type she works, everything. And it seems that it's quite, it, it's quite tough for small uh, yarn, uh, yarn, how do you say yarn, making uh, people to survive in Canada. It's tough business. Yes. So, wow, that's great. Yeah. So Ron, you Is were about it? to share something. Oh, uh, yes. So at last week's meeting, um, those of us who are here, anyone who watched it, I shared a yarn I was working on uh, a Franco with, uh, which I'll show off my progress later, but it was on Diamo Light by Jody Wong I talked about. And after talking about it and knitting with it over the weekend, I was just like, you know who would just love this yarn is Sumner. <laughs> I talked about loving woolly yarns and I just, um, I loved working with it and um, I just wanted to get it into someone's hands who I knew appreciated that kind of yarn so I could get some feedback so I can 
Uh, I, I didn't send it to him just out of the goodness of my heart. I wanted to pick his brain about it too. <laughs> um, so um, I had one of my guys here pack up a skein in the most summery color I could find. <laughs> uh, just like, he'll like this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it turns out I was right, I guess. You like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's really, oh, I just, yeah, I don't want to stop touching it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, wow. so I've been knitting for, since yesterday. So I started Friday. <laughs> and I didn't do a lot of knitting today because I had groceries and all that stuff. Um, but I'm almost done with the sleeve cap. You'll get pretty far on that ball. This is so fast. My, um, yeah, before the other comes in. Yeah. Um, my sister for my birthday got me an extra large ball winder. So <laughs> it, took, it took all 200 yards on one cake. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you, you couldn't do it with a regular one. Mm. What weight is that yarn? Aaron. Uh, Aaron, yeah, Aaron it's on eights. I'm doing it on eights. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, it's the new sweater that I just purchased in the Franco website. Um, because the ease on this, I'm giving myself the standard two inch ease. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, my like dog walking sweater that actually I've been able to wear because it's been in the low 60s here. Um, that I gave, it, it's like a big baggy four inch ease sweater. Um, this, this will just be like a nice wear all day sweater. And it, I think the weight is good enough that you can wear it indoors all day. Really? Uh, Aaron weight? Like, well, if you're for somewhere cold, I guess. It, but I, it, live uh, in, I live in Massachusetts, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sumner, yeah. when you said you started this Friday, I thought you meant last Friday, you mean yesterday. yesterday. <laughs> I started this yesterday. <laughs> I know, it's amazing. He's a machine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and today I only did like, I, I didn't, I barely knit it. I just picked it up like an hour ago. Well, I <laughs> Thrilled that my instincts are correct. So you oh, should get yeah. to know everyone and their tastes. <laughs> I, I can't wait to see the sapphire blue. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it's beautiful. And that would make a beautiful card again. That's it. Um, Bright light here. Which I think I'm going to do with a hood. Hey. And buttons and and um, pockets and the whole shebang. Really embellish the whole crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I might throw a zipper in it though, because I love like a zipper sweater. Right. Um. I I did one. Um. That I think I told you guys when Cindy was so nervous about steaking. If you do that, yeah, that was just like a week ago. Hi, yeah. Cindy. Uh, oh, hi, Cindy. Yeah. Hi, if you do that stitch witchery, hi, Cindy. Boy, you could sew anything into a sweater. You probably could. You probably yeah, could. Yeah, it's really something. Hi, so Jalen. How are you, Sumner? This I is, am this so is excited. One day of sweater. One day it, of it sweater. It won't take you 15 minutes to do my intarsia sock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, this For those of you yesterday. watching this later, no, we just joke. I even, I got a message from, from a person that had watched that gave me a suggestion for a kind of buttonhole to try. Oh. It uh, was tech knitting the tulips. Um, buttonhole so I'm gonna have to try that I just I just read that a little bit ago so but I, I want to tell people watching that it's like no I'm not really cheating on the TKGA level <laughs> one sock I'm just teasing <laughs> I just adored those buttons I thought they were really really nice I'm so excited about them but I do have to just decide on how am I going to do the buttonhole yeah so if I don't sew a zipper into that sweater um I, I I would like to get buttons. Oh, um, why not both? Okay. Buttons on the outside, zipper on the inside. 
Well, you know, eight. like for, for kind of for a double, or you could do a zipper and you could do buttons on the, a little bit of buttons on the uh, cuff here, right on the sleeve. It, it doesn't even have to have be open. It could just be decorative. Mm -hmm. Add everything. You yeah. know, if, if he's yeah. going to add the, all sorts of stuff to it. Air, wall to wall carpet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm taking Suzanne's um, pockets class. Um, I just started, and the first the first uh, lesson this week, we're doing patch pockets on the outside, and you either do the vertical ones or the horizontal ones. So oh, okay. doing that, and then they'll do afterthought and all sorts of stuff. It goes on for ten weeks. We do different pockets every week, so. I didn't even know there was 10 different kinds of pockets, but <laughs> there is. What time is her class? Um, well, it's it's boot camp and it's um, Thursdays at 11, my time. Oh, I but see. You have, to be, you have to have been, you have to have taken boot camp one, two, and three. I see. And then be on the short short list to do and then get in so wow. I've, I've been signed up since january i've been signed up since january frank i'm so excited <laughs> that's <laughs> amazing it's on, tuesday, Cindy. Wow. it's on tuesday oh is it tuesday i have it on the calendar and so i just do what it says on the day i can't <laughs> remember what day it is this month. <laughs> My watch gave it, and that was how I knew it was time to go to Franco. <laughs> it's like you're at a Montessori experience. It kind of is. It kind of is. It's just ding. It's time to change right. tasks. We're done doing this for now. Go, come to your knitting class. Switch. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I got the whole um, huge thing uh, hooked up. Uh, the this is the Uzo, and I got both armholes done. Arm, they're kind of like little sleeves. It's a little vest. Got both of those done, and all the stuff on the back. Stuff on the back. It's really cool. Mm, so just a, just wow. little kind of little drop shoulder half things, and then I had to pick up the whole entire all the way around. I don't even know how many stitches, but I did have to pick up the stitch to row ratio i figured that out got that done and everything and then i wanted to decrease around the back of the neck because it seemed like the way it was done with the lace it was just a little too too open like it was going to be sliding out so when i got that picked up then it's like okay if i decrease back here to tighten it up i have to pick up everything but then i have to decrease and then how much how many stitches do I need back there versus how many I need down here? And so I have little, really ugly math. Only look quickly. Um, <laughs> the only pencil I could find, this is what my house is like. The only pencil I could find was a blue colored pencil because one of the grandkids was here this week. And um, the rule is you don't take Nanny's pen off her desk, but somebody did. So um, uh -oh. I, I'm using a blue colored pencil <clears throat> to do my... <laughs> You're blue lining like a real designer. I know, I know. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? At least it's not red like you know the editors would be. It's like <laughs> that part. But I got it. I got it all figured out. So I'm close. I think I only have twelve more rows to do now, and I'm done. Of course, it would take me probably a week. Some they're not a day because <laughs> um, <laughs> it's about. It's close to 400 stitches is how many it is around. Wow. Oh, it's stitches. like, it's a, it's a long, um, it's, it's long, uh, almost kind of like a car coat length on me. Oh, wow. And, uh, oh. A car coat. That's probably too old for you. <laughs> <laughs> a coat again. We call it a coat again now. It is. Yeah. You call it a coat again? Okay, a coat again. That's what it's oh, like then. I it's, love it. It's long. It's long. It's just kind of above the knees. Um, and then that that's how long it is. Well, you knit pretty fast. How how long did it take you to knit the coat? Oh, this has been done for a really long time. I just didn't want to do the pick up the button band part. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, like March. I finished it. Right. I've got a lot of it's been it's been holding at 90%. Yeah. People I, come I, here for the relatable content. 
I think they come here for the comic relief, Ron. I think so. <laughs> Ellen agrees. Well, <laughs> I mean, Ron, Ron stepped in the way of my other projects by getting me this gorgeous yarn. I am unapologetic about it. Had to. I mean, it he just, was he was talking about he had stuff you were going to like. Oh yeah. It's was this the, this was the Jody Long? Who, this is Jody the Jody Long. Now, now is a man. I got corrected about that oh. last week. The Andiamo. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm a light. It's oh, great. That's really nice. That is it would lovely. cable beautiful. Yeah, it's very round. Um, oh. It's just a two ply, but the profile of it is super round and plump. And I just, I'm going to be sad when the projects I'm working on are over because I just love feeling it through my fingers. It's been so nice. Um, Isn't it interesting how some yarns you just really like to work with and they just have yeah. a great feeling? Other ones, it's, it's just like, oh, I just can't stand this. Even if they knit up nicely, yeah. it's like, yeah, I don't like them. Uh, and this is it's Aaron. Right? It, it just, Aaron knits so fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, for, you? for you. <laughs> Ordering things for the yarn shop is, is interesting business because, you know, you learn your customer's taste, you learn what people's people like, you look at trends and what people are making, what's on the front page of Ravelry for the last three months, and you mm -hmm. wind up ordering a lot of yarn that just like, I hate this. Um, but people will love it. And, but then occasionally something just, I, I did not anticipate how much I would enjoy this. Really yarn. like that one. So I am with you. And the skins are huge. huge. Yeah. Um, well, did not let's greet Denise and Rana, who snuck in. Hi, Denise. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi, Hi Denise. Denise. Welcome from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it there, Denise? It's 7.30 in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. So you get up really early to come and... No, no. Yeah. I finished night shift and come straight here. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. All right. So and you really Rana. do need the comic relief. <laughs> I don't know if you have a microphone Rana. today. I do. Hi, everybody. Oh, hi. 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 I to hear your voice. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. What are you working on, Rana? Uh, I'm trying to clean out the UFO bin. Uh -oh. And uh, I, I'm find, finding I'm getting tools back and needles back and um, things I can evaluate whether it's worth finishing or leave it alone. So it's been kind of interesting. I've I found things that I didn't even know I had. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all there. Rana. I was looking for this pair of size eight flexi flips uh -huh. for two months. It's in the side inside of a Christmas sock that I. Found. <laughs> oh <my gosh>. <laughs> <laughs> right where you stored it. <laughs> Before I was gonna buy another damn pair. <laughs> Exactly. Right. It's it's always right where you left it in the last place you look, because <laughs> once you find it, you stop looking. Yep, that's yep. right. Yep. <laughs> yep, isn't that right. true? Do you know what? I, here's a tip about finding things that I have adopted that works for me. After I've looked all over the house and finally found that drawer I stashed something in, I then remember where was the first place I looked for it. And when I put it back, that's where I put it. So next oh, time oh. I decide to look in the first place, I'll find it in the first place. That's a free tip. Anybody can use that. It's free. Uh, okay. <laughs> are, are you going to make a little YouTube video about that, Frank? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I don't think I will. I am thinking of a new uh, YouTube video. <laughs> I don't know if I should announce this. <laughs> oh, come on. Be brave. But I guess maybe I have to. Uh, it, 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 
my microphone changed. It, uh, can you hear me okay? Oh, yes. yes, yes. Okay. Wow. Yeah. All right. That's true. So it hasn't got a nine in it. So what? Fill that in. Wait, let me mute. I think I started some uh, video. Yeah. I think it's Sudoku in the background. It is. And I, I have to find <laughs> I love Sudoku. Oh. <laughs> the, the tab, right. I love I'm so Sudoku. glad that other people do that. I'll have something running and it's like I have no idea where the window is. It's like I didn't think I started that. I don't know. It's just talking to me. Well, and you know, Frank, I so was thinking of a wonderful book you that. should write for me. Okay, <laughs> you didn't have enough to do. I'm sorry, I'm busy looking for this video that's playing. I can't find it. <laughs> so oh, we'll just so wait on yourselves. And I will Go be ahead, back. <laughs> yeah. That, hey, Denise? I, uh, I got on my phone to look at something earlier and the video started playing through the speakers at the shop because <laughs> I was playing music through my phone into the like the sales floor and then Perrin comes into where I am. I was like, do you know your TikTok is on the floor? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, funny. yes, I did. I did, I did know. not know that. I thought I was listening to muted videos. That's so funny. But no, Perrin was listening. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Nothing on my work computer is anything but work. Period. <laughs> Full stop. Yeah. How are you Where feeling, Sumner? Oh, I, you know, it's so funny. Um, the day that I got my little gift from heaven from Ron. Um, that day at 10 p.m. was like a light switch. I just <laughs> felt great. It wow. literally was like COVID shut off and I felt good. The and I felt really good really good ever since. It wasn't a gradual thing. It was very pronounced. I was like, wow. I have not heard people talk about that. This is how my mother had her, both when she got her vaccine side effects and when she's been ill with COVID, she just suddenly stops being ill, like sitting at the coffee table. Yeah. And then wow. I'm not ill anymore. Yeah. Wow. It was like 10 o'clock and I'm like, oh, wow. There you go. I'm going to start a pullover. I'm going to start another <laughs> um, <laughs> No, it's funny. That's the only thing that's not in my unfinished object bins is Franco's because I just they, they're so quick I just oh, there's a Franco yeah. that's wonderful and, and not you know not I don't know I just I just knit them I don't know and so I, like the other day I literally was like that Frank Jernigan he has to write a book did you figure out where the nine goes Frank uh yes I did <laughs> good <laughs> Uh, and now okay, Frank, you were going to tell us you were going to tell us something about YouTube. The microphone keeps clicking in and all. I, I, I'm just having all sorts of technical problems today. I don't know why that video started playing and it was forever. It took me forever to find it. OK, I'm going to tell you what I was going to tell you. I've been thinking about starting a new uh, channel or perhaps just adding a couple of videos, not on the subject of knitting, but add them to this channel. I haven't decided which. Um, I wonder if anybody has noticed that I look a little different the last few weeks. Yes. yes. I, I am going to do a video, a video on makeup for men over 70. Oh, here we go. Here we oh, go. nice. <laughs> it's got to go on TikTok, okay. however. <laughs> yes. <I mean. laughs> That's where the TikTok. makeup tutorials go. That's where your audience is. The <laughs> Zoomers will love you. <laughs> so so what kind do you use, Frank? Is it is it particular um, male? No, it's whatever I was able to find. And uh, I'm going to show you a picture. <laughs> I can't believe you it. You just froze, Frank. Yeah, you're frozen. Oh no, I can't freeze. We, we can, we. You can hear me? 
can hear you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear you. And, and you're not making a weird face. So that's no, you're you looking proud. good. Yeah. 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 When I freeze, yeah. I feel like I'm not. I'm not I'm not frozen. I mean, I, I mean, I, I see I'm frozen. Um, what's going on? Yeah. My computer's just going crazy. How about that? Nope, it didn't come no, back. Not that. <laughs> I'm afraid if I try to log off and log back in, uh, it'll, it'll kick us right. all off. Yeah. It'll dump us. It'll, oh, I know what I can do. I can make somebody else the host. And I'm going to log off and log back in. Do Ooh. Ron. Don't do anyone do else. Ron. I, I don't yeah, know. Do anything. Ron. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. me. It's not Ron. Ron's right. Ron. 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 looking at my favorite makeup. So you missed all the boobs and everything else. We <laughs> missed all of that. that was <laughs> oh. I, for one, cannot believe Cindy said that. <laughs> <laughs> God, you just threw me under the bus. Oh. Hey, retake, retake. <laughs> so we've missed Run, at least a half hour of recording. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was for premium members only. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all because Zoom decided to stop using my camera. I, I turned on FaceTime and it will use my camera just fine. And Zoom acts like, oh, you don't have a camera on this computer. I mean, it, it doesn't oh, list it as an option to select. That's weird. That is weird. I don't know what's going on with it, but so, well, it happens. Can... It's yeah. mad because I ordered a, a new webcam to use and it's arriving tomorrow. So. Oh, that's fun. Oh, it, it, so that's oh you should have gotten it sooner. Uh, <laughs> Everyone remember what you said you this week. That'll teach <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, so that alpaca, Ron, that I was telling you about the other day, yeah. by Roman, it, it, I actually knit it up in the same gauge as this. Yeah. So I think I'm going to be able to get a good idea of how many yards I need. Sure. And I think I'm just going to make a Franco out of it. But that's a very lofty, yeah. Yeah, a big halo, very fuzzy gray, you know. But it'll it'll be nice. But I think I'm going to be able to figure out the yardage without having to knit a swatch. So I have this yarn that's so lofty that if you knit a swatch and you take it out, it wants to. It, it almost wants to make the yarn go bald. Oh. Like it's very twiny. Because it's so lofty, so it's not going to be an everyday wear sweater. Because um, I'll just be leaving fuzz everywhere. <laughs> but it's Rowan. It was certainly pricey enough. Yeah. It's very lofty. So, whatever. It's in my stash. I was thinking of doing something with it. I only have one shop around here that carry Rowan. It's like twenty miles, thirty miles away. It's the only shop around. They make a beautiful product. Yeah, they do. Absolutely do. I wish I could carry yarn from everyone, you know. But you have to curate. <laughs> yes. Well, didn't Stephen West just come out with a whole new set of it? It was on YouTube the other day. I don't know. Whole whole bunch of new yarns, colors and stuff. <laughs> I just realized. I, have, oh. I just realized What'd that you do? the whole discussion about this new video topic <laughs> that I'm thinking about was not recorded. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm I'm going to leave that with you guys. <laughs> Only you know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we are the chosen few. And You're the chosen few. You know what I'm thinking about doing in the future. Right. To be continued. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am. I want to ask a, a kind of knitting question. I have not knit socks in forever, and I'm going to do that one of the catboarding that Sumner suggested, and I've got all sorts of 
sock yarn, what kind of color and whatever is the easiest for me to be able to like see my stitches, but yet tell, because I've got some really cool variegated stuff, but I don't think I'd be able to see what I'm doing right uh, now. Go as light as possible. Okay. Go as light and as just, possible. And just solid or semi-solid or? Um, I would probably go solid so you could see what you're doing. Yeah. So okay. I, right. like when I do my um, cat boardies, it's usually on twos or ones. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I like a good negative ease, so it's yeah. Smooth. I like mine to be uh, to be um, tight and stitchy. And the stitches are so small; they're so tiny. Mm -hmm. I, I I do them. I've done black socks, but mm -hmm. not if not if. Well, not and I think I will after I get into it a little more. Figure out how to do the different shaping and some of that. I can go to different. It's like okay, what's easy for me to be able to see right now? Yeah, go as light as possible. Um, and that oh. knits up so fast on the double circs. Because this is one that I really like, but I think that's just, it's too wild. It's, it's mm. uh, Oh, it's lovely. Chog, it's great for socks. But I think, you great think that would be okay? Oh, that'd okay. be Ten that's chog beautiful. Farmers. Okay. That, right. that, something like that is so much fun for socks. That, that truly is my colors. Yeah. Uh, what were you what were you going to say, Judith? I was going to ask, what what kind of sock? This is uh, I, Kench. You, oh, what kind of sock? Sumner can tell better about what kind of sock. Well, I, 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 you mentioned uh, something, a word. I Cat Borde. Yeah. Cat Borde. Here's the book. Ah. Oh, <laughs> so someone. I, uh, and and, and I, I know it, that it's the. It's the pattern on. <laughs> I just uh, I just did this, <laughs> but then Sumner beat me to it. Yeah, oh, that's funny. <laughs> there you go. right, right. I got the book this week, and uh, and so I thought I'd take a picture of myself with it and share the picture since you can't see me hold it up here. <laughs> oh, that's fun. So here's my favorite song. Which one is that? So this is page seven. <laughs> it looks well loved. Oh, it's well loved. Yeah. I've, I've made more than a couple dozen of these. Now you'll find, Cindy, that, and it's not, and it's, you'll make a pair of these socks in a week. They're that fast. Yeah. Uh, double, on so double strokes. It, they're okay. just so quick. There's so much fun. Well, I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, we're going to go on uh, a trip to Idaho where we'll be in the car for a couple of days, um, oh, celebrating our, our anniversary in just about a month. And I want to have something. It's like, OK, if I've got to be in the car for 10 hours, I'm going to have something I can knit on. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, get started and get ready and do. And so I want to I think I really want to do the socks. I, I really like wearing wool socks and I just haven't knit them in a while. I like a double circs that you can just throw them in a bag and you're yeah. not dropping a needle. And they're easy to knit on with the double circs. Yeah. And yeah. you just never lose in a needle. No. That's just brilliant. It's okay, that DPN. I still love you. Sumner, <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> what size needle do you use? Uh, mostly twos. Um, I've done them on zeros, depending upon the yarn. Because, mm -hmm. like, but, taking Suzanne's class, I couldn't see the stitches. So I just gave up on the class. I just stopped paying attention to it. And then I I've done them on the Addict Flexi flips, and I really like Flexi flips. Mm. Um, but I still go back to the double circs. Let's see if I can get that one. This is probably a symptom of me being, you know, in a yarn store and always having needles available. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, I do love DPNs. I primarily work on DPNs. But for the little ends of these, I actually <laughs> used three 16-inch circular needles and treated them as though they were, you know, 
the, the mutant bride I created out of DPNs and double circulars. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> And what what length of DPN do you use for socks? You you don't need socks. A sixteen and a twelve. Mm -hmm. You want to use them two different sizes, right? Because if they're the same size, um, when you're beginning your sock, it's very tough to see what's going to be the top of the foot and the bottom, so that you actually have a front and the back. Though technically, it doesn't really matter. It just, for me, makes it a little easier if they're just slightly different mm -hmm. length. Ah, oh. okay. When I teach clients to use this method, if they have a hard problem with, with keeping it straight, I often have them take one point protector. Mm. And when you're done knitting a row, stick a point protector on the end. And it's going to be there later off. when you need to switch. Yeah, yeah. It's, mm -hmm. it's funny. When I first started, I would prime myself on one needle. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I found I found these. The, these this is a uh, nine and three quarter inch round. Oh yeah, your hands and, uh, are okay. I, they, yeah, they come from. I forgot where they got. I got yeah, them from. How, but how uh, who makes those? They, they work out good. Yeah. You know, it's they're you know. That's pretty yarn too. Oh, yeah, it is. Someone, someone gave that to me, and I. Oh, really nice. This is my second. This is my second sock. The other one's on the holder, so. So, do they have a red cord? Yes. That they're chow goos. Yeah, the chow goo one, right. I mean, yeah, it's nine and three quarter inches. I found that. I have and a that small work, That works in my hand. Yeah. So, yeah, they're too small for me. I get yeah, crazy. They're very painful, but I know a lot of ladies um, here swear by them. I don't think I have any many. Yeah. Them. I'm glad to see you using that. I mean, I got double pointed. I got yeah. I got chai goo double pointed wood ones. I love too. So, I think the main uh, reason I like my DPNs is that it looks positively medieval, and people yeah. won't bother you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, you, sure we um, next you know, I hate, with you. You I hate to interrupt this lively discussion, but it, it we started three minutes early, and now it's three thirty. So, we like to keep it to an hour. All right. Um, okay. so, we can pick it up for next week. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Have fun next week. I won't be here. Oh. Bye. Bye bye. And bye hopefully, bye. I'll have a camera bye. working bye. next week. Bye. Yes, hopefully, with a new camera, it'll work. <laughs> yes. Here I am waving at bye you bye all. Bye. You can't yes. see me. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Bring the makeup, Frank. Bring the makeup. <laughs>